It's a potentially dangerous problem found all over the island. Street sign vandalism. And one neighborhood board is taking action. Residents in Wailai say many of their street signs are covered in graffiti. We also noticed other signs were faded. The Wailai Kahala Neighborhood Board says these covered up signs could cause an accident. But the problem is proving hard to fix. Bridget Namata joins us with more. Bridget. Joe, last year the city received 65 complaints for graffiti on city street signs. Residents want the city to clean it up, fearing distracted driving. But I'm told there isn't enough manpower. Spray painted stop signs, faded parking signs, even an electronic pedestrian signal covered in stickers can be found throughout Kaimuki, a problem the Wailai Kahala Neighborhood Board wants to fix. That's a very dangerous situation because, you know, obviously when people are driving, they can't, you know, take their eyes off the road and, you know, peer at a sign while they're driving by. Hmm, what does that sign say? Uh, gee, you know, I can't really read it because it's graffitied over. And then, boom, you know, there's a traffic accident because, you know, they're distracted. The city estimates up to 100 signs are damaged by vandals island-wide each year. The problem isn't just graffiti. We ventured off Wailai Avenue and are walking through the neighborhood. We're on 14th Avenue right now, and we came across this sign. It looks blank until you come up close and realize it's actually a no-parking sign. The neighborhood board is urging the city to repair the faded and vandalized signs ASAP, but didn't like the city's answer. Well, you know, we're understaffed. We don't have enough people to really inspect the signs. We're going to... Um, you know, uh, continue to request that the city take the responsibility serious, seriously, especially when it has to do with safety. In a statement, the city says vandalizing traffic signs is against the law, and defacing them can have a serious impact on the safe movement of vehicles, pedestrians, and cyclists. The city says if you see someone vandalizing a traffic sign, call 911. There's also a graffiti hotline for damaged signs that we'll put up on our website, k21.com. Joe?